ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ ಉದ್ಧವಗೀತ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿಯತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಪೇಜ್ ತ್ರೀ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಟೂ ವರ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ನೈನ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಬಾಟಮ್ ಪುರುಷ ಸತ್ವಸಂಯುಕ್ತ ಅನುಮೀಯಾಕ್ಷಮಿ ಕಾಮಿರ್ರಜೋಯುಕ್ತ ಕ್ರೋಧಾದ್ಯೈತಮಸಾಯುತ small correction in the second line kama dibhi visarga is dropped because of sandhi rule it is not dirgham it is a short v kama dibhi lord krishna explaining about three gunas in every individual personality every one of us has to remember that i the individual am a mixture of three gunas each guna affect the character of the person influence the character of the person character in the sense a person behaves his conduct his interaction with the world his thinking his words all are based on those gunas only our kaika vachika manasa karma are the effects effects of what effects of uh, our own three gunas three gunas are there and what are the influencing factors of each guna the nature of each guna all of you know that and how much we are growing towards a higher human being later divine being so that is the parakashta of the human life climax parakashta means the highest animal man to man 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 to divine man so that is the journey prepared by our vedas to every human being in the manual vedic manual who ever comes within this manual they become a divine person one day or other it is the fact because vedic revelations are given by the bhagavan only bhagavan is always well wisher of everyone since vedas are the revelations of bhagavan veda whatever veda talks as a prescription for me it is good for me whether i understand i follow or not is a different thing but uh, the revelations of vedas are good for human beings not for bhagavan vedic injunctions are good for me alone if i recognize uh, fortunately in this life uh, i am the person who can attain that uh, destination therefore krishna is pointing out he arjuna he buddhava this sattva rajas tamo gunas they are influencing the person 
Sattva guna is there predominantly, thus person is sattvic, very calm and quiet and does all noble actions. His vachika kaika manasa karmas are um, spiritually friendly. Whereas a rajasic person is highly active, always restless because of materialistic mindset. Always uh, prosperity is uh, in terms of wealth. That is the wealth he sees. And the tamasic person is one who is doing harm to others for his or her own sake. That type of nature is not good. Even though three gunas are there in everyone, predominance of that guna influence the person. All three gunas are bound to be there. But predominance I can change by my learning of Shastra. Otherwise person do not know why he or she is behaving like that. This is the psychology. In our scriptures there is a psychology if you want to know. This is called psychology. I can know my own nature, why my mind is vulnerable, why my mind is stressed, why my mind is lazy, why my mind is so calm. You can understand your own mind. Then you can change the course of action. Now in the ninth verse, Lord Krishna is telling, you can infer a person who is sattvic or who is rajasic or who is tamasic. You can infer, but don't go and tell him, you are sattvic, you are rajasic, you are tamasic. Even to children also. Even to our family members, brother, sister or husband or wife, you should not tell. To a person, you are a rajasic person, you are a sattvic person, you are a tamasic person. I have no right to say, you are so and so gunavan, that guna is prominent in you. I should not. Just observe, infer. Anumiyat. That uh, word is used. Sattvam samyuktam anumiyat. He buddhava, may you infer that person, shamadhi bihi. When a person is tranquil, mind is so calm, adipadat, you can take dhamma, uparma, titiksha, shraddha, samadhanam, all of them. Shamadhi bihi. Anumiya shamadhi bihi is there because of sandhi root. Shamadhi. Anumiya plus shamadhi bihi. Mind control, etc. Mind control is one of the most important um, qualification. With them, Adhi Vihi means etc. With them. Now Lord Krishna uh, remi reminding the second shloka once again. In second shloka Sattva Guna he said, third shloka Rajoguna, fourth shloka Tamoguna. So you have to recollect this. Shamadhi Vihi Purusham Sattva Samyuktam Anumiyat When a person is having mind control, disciplined mind is there, etc. You have to look into that. I am not going to explain further what is Sattvam. At that time you have to infer that person is Sattva Guna Sampanna. Sattvam Samyuktam Samyuktam means endowed with that Sattva Guna. May you infer because uh, inference is always only anumiyat you cannot um, know the person's guna inside how it is that guna how it is you cannot know how do you know only through um, by his uh, mindset actions kaika vachika manasa you can see that uh, Mind is calm, behavior is also very uh, sober and so uh, quiet and pleasant behavior when mind is calm. The face itself uh, appears, shows whether mind is disciplined or not, controlled or not. Mm? 
that is sattvam you understand then what about rajoguna kamaadhi vihi rajo yuktam anumiyat anumiyat we have to add that third verse you have to go back kamaadhi vihi by um, through the expression of kama desire ex, etc adi padat lot of name fame materialistic prosperity kamaadhi vihi rajo samyuktam anumiyat may you infer that person is endowed with rajo guna then third one krodha dhihi by anger etc krodha lobha moha madamatsarya all of them krodha dhihi tamasayutam anumiyat he is endowed with tamo guna may you infer so ritualistic portion of the veda you know veda has got uh, three portions karma kanda upasana kanda gnana kanda normally we don't use the word upasana kanda since it is also come under manasa karma it is included in karma kanda karma kanda and gnana kanda we say but upasana kanda included in the karma kanda so these three kandas meant for what if you remember this you can enjoy can appreciate the vedic teaching karma kanda rituals kaika karma vachika karma any sort of religious practices whatever varna ashrama dwara if you perform they are all to make the tamasic person into rajasic person karma kanda karma kanda means uh, uh, only rituals kaika vachika karma once you become rajasic from tamasic to rajasic you become a active person veda says enough of running uh, you have run 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 doing this and that now you can calm down so this person from rajoguna to he has to come to sattva guna for that uh, veda prescribes upasana manasika karma manasika karma means only meditation japa like that so manasika karma for what purpose to convert the rajasik person into sattvic then upanishads veda says enough of upasana meditation you have done a lot uh, calm down the mind you are a sattvic person now come to gnana kanda vedanta upanishads what for because three gunas one way or other they will bind the person even mind also good uh, sattvic mind is also not always the same it will fluctuate therefore don't uh, be Uh, addicted to or accustomed to or associated to the soft good sober mind don't rely upon that mind because mind nature is fluctuation even sattvic mind also never try to enjoy that because it is temporary it will change after a few hours a few days fluctuation bound to be there therefore study vedanta do shravanam come out of sattva guna also coming out of sattva guna means what you cannot come out of three gunas then how can you come tamas to rajas you have come through karma kanda rajas to sattvic you have come to through upasana kanda then from sattvic to guna tita you have to transcend three gunas three gunas are belong to anatma the mind body complex they are not connected to me i am nirguna brahman to recognize that this is the whole design when you come to gnana kanda for that purpose only we are studying this 
to become a sattvic person first predominantly you have to do all these rituals whatever given by shastra later shastra shravana time you will have that sattva guna sattva sanjayate gnanam and that gnanam helps you to become a guna titah that is the final culmination up to here we saw in the last class now lord krishna is going to talk about the more about the gunas and their effects how they influence the character of the individual bhakti he is going to talk from 10th verse 9 10 11 all these uh, shlokas are uh, describing the effects of gunas in one's own character page number 303 यजति मरपेक्षस्वकर्म तम सकृति विद्या स्त्रिय भजति भक्तिया मां भजति वेन ए पर्सन वर्शिप मी with the devotion with the devotion what type of mindset a devotee mind should be he is nirapekshaha without expecting anything that means nishkama bhakti ityarthah nirapeksha apeksha rahitah desire free mind oh bhagwan give me this give me that if you give this i will do that for you bargaining with bhagavan is not there for this person nirapekshaha when a person who is devoted to me worshiping me without expecting any results and how he does swakarma bhihi he is performing his own duties varna ashrama duties as prescribed in shastra स्वर्णाश्रम धर्मेण तपसा हरिदोषण प्लीजिंग द लॉर्ड देन अंदर श्लोक प्लीजिंग द लॉर्ड विथ हरिदोषण प्लीजिंग द लॉर्ड बै तपस् आस्टेरीटी अकॉर्डिंग टू स्वर्ण आश्रम ब्राह्मण क्षत्रिय वैश्य शूद्र एज गिवेन इन द वर्ण अकॉर्डिंग टू देर आश्रम आलो ब्रह्मचर्य गृहस्थ वनप्रस्थ सन्यास धर्मेण मीन ड्यूटी इज पर्फॉमिंग साधन प्रभवे हि नीड नाट आस्क फर् एनी रिजल्ट साधन प्रभवे पुंसा वैराग्यादि चतुष्ट अनदर श्लोक देर समेर इट से इन सकाम भक्ति एक्चुअली पीपल आस्क Swamini, can we ask anything, Bhagawan? Because we are only desirous of moksha. Is it necessary to ask anything, Bhagawan? No? Actually speaking, if you are a sattvic bhakta, you need not ask. If you are a nishkama bhakta, you need not ask anything. Some people say even um, if you feel hungry, you have to ask mother. Then only she can give. How do Bhagawan knows? भगवान के नाट नो देर फॉर आस्क वाट इज रॉन्ग नॉर्मली वी से दैट स्ट्रिक्टली स्पीकिंग इफ यू डोंट आस्क आलो अकॉर्डिंग टू शास्त्र ए निष्काम भक्ता डेफिनेटली गेट रिजल्ट वेदर ही आर शी इज इंटरेस्टेड आर नाट पुरुष स्त्रीय में वाइर मेल पर्सन आर फीमेल बोथ ऑफ दम ते विल गेट तम सा सत्व प्रकृति विद्या दट इज सत्व प्रकृति गुण प्रकृति मीन्स गुण दट नेचर इज सत्वा नेचर सात्विक भक्ति वेन ही वर्शिप मी विथट एक्सपेक्टिंग रिजल्ट ऐ गिव द रिजल्ट भगवान डिंट से हियर शास्त्र से कृष्णा से 
नहीं कल्याण कृत कश्चित दुर्गतिम तात गच्छति कृष्ण से इन गीता भगवत गीता गीता मीन्स उद्धव गीता अल्सो ये गीता इन भगवत गीता कृष्ण से इवन ए वी बिट ऑफ मंगल कार्य मिश्यू डू विथट एक्सपेक्टिंग एनी रिजल्ट फलम इज बउंड टू कम वाट फलम साधन चतुष्ट संपत्ति ज्ञान वैराग्य विल कम स्पिरीचुअली फ्रेंडली बेनिफिट आर् बउंड टू कम ईवन दो यू डोंट आस्क बिकाज निष्काम भक्ति गीवस सच फल निष्काम कर्म भक्ति लक्षण कर्म लक्षण भक्ति इफ यू हेव दैट इट विल गिव रिजल्ट कंपलसरीली देर इज नो डाउट इन दैट देर फोर यून डोंट आस्क आलो यू विल गेट फल शांति आनंद सुखम शास्त्र गुरु एवरीथिंग कम्स वट डू यू वाट मोर दैन दट नेक्स्ट श्लोक इलेवेन यदा आशीष आशास्य मजे तस्वर्म भी तम रजस् प्रकृति विद्यात हिंसा माशास्यतामसम इन दिस श्लोक लॉर्ड कृष्ण इंक्लूड बोथ रज एंड तमस फर्स्ट लाइन ऑफ इलेवेंथ वर्स रजोगुण सेकंड लाइन सेकंड हाफ तमोगुण यदा वेन ए पर्सन आशीष आशास्य आशीष मीन सीकिंग द ब्लेसिंग्स ईवेन सात्विक भक्ता निष्काम भक्ता विल नेवर सीक ब्लेसिंग्स आल्सो देन व्हाट फॉर ही वर्शिप लॉर्ड सात्विक भक्ता ये निष्काम भक्ता वर्शिप द लॉर्ड ओनली फॉर थैंक्स गिविंग ओ गॉड यू हैव गिवन मी हे ईश्वरा यू हैव गिवन मी दिस ह्यूमन लाइफ थैंक यू यू हैव गिवन मी शास्त्र थैंक यू यू हैव गिवन मी ए शास्त्र गुरु थैंक यू सो थैंक्स गिविंग वर्शिप थैंक्स गिविंग टू सूर्य चंद्र एंड ट्रीस माउंटेन्स रिवर्स एवरीथिंग थैंक्स गिविंग counting your blessings thanks giving thanks giving ko puja pandra not for asking something puja need not be only for asking something i don't have anything to ask bhagwan why to do puja why to offer flowers na no you have to do krita kritagnatva nivrutyartham to avoid the ingratitude nature to show the gratitude to the lord you have to worship okay yada aashishah but rajoguna rajasik person aashishah he seek blessings varieties of blessings he want for this you bless me for that you bless me adi varamadri bless padanu aashasya expecting one or other benefit materialistic benefit मां भजत भजेता स्वकर्म भी दिस पर्सन आल्सो वर्शिप मी बाय हिज ओन ड्यूटीज वर्ण आश्रम ड्यूटीज परफॉर्मिंग दैट ही परफॉर्म्स तम रजसम प्रकृति विद्या एक्सपेक्टिंग दैट सकाम भक्ति सकाम भक्ति इज देयर भगवान के नाट यू ज्ञान वैराग्य भगवान के नाट यू सात्विक साधन चतुष्ट संपत्ति बिकॉज ही हेज आलरे आस्कड फर् मेटीरियलिस्टि प्रॉस्परिटी नेम एंड फेम एंड आलरे भगवान सेड इन दट थर्ड श्लोक दिर् फोर वन सी आस्क ओनली निष्काम भक्त ए लोन कीप्स भगवान रिलैक्स दिस राजसिक भक्त अंड तामसिक भक्त कीप्स भगवान बिजी इन so therefore rajasa prakritim vidya this is rajasik nature sakama bhakti is rajasik bhakti most of the people are rajasik bhaktas hmm? then what about tamasam himsam aashasya a person who is desirous of something to get worshiping the lord you have to supply bhajeta 
in Bhagavad Gita, 17th chapter also, we saw Tamasa Yajna. So, this person is also uh, either uh, he is not doing anything, if he does also, asking for something through himself, harming others, by harming others, giving, uh, uh, doing all black magics. Uh, harming others means thinking ill of others, that all, and worshipping time also, the keeping in the mind that only. Such a type of nature, mindset is tamasam. Iti vidyad, may you know, you have to supply. Iti vidyad. Now, next shloka, twelfth shloka. Satyam rajasthama maiti. Guna jivasya naiva me Chitta jayaistu bhutanam Sajjamano nibadhyate This is an aside point, Lord Krishna diverting the topic, but very important. What Krishna says, Sattvam rajastama, Sattva guna rajo guna tamo guna all these three, whatever I am talking about them, Gunaha, Jeevasya, all these are belong to Jeeva only. Naiva me, they are not belong to me. Naiva me bhavanti. Me means me, the Ishvara. They do not belong to me. They belong to Ajnani Jeeva. They do not belong to even Jnani Jiva. Jnani is also free from three gunas. Ishvara is also free from three, three gunas, means gunas effects. These effects are not belong to oh, Ishvara or Jnani, they belong to Anatma. Chitta Jaha. There you can put a full stop. Second line, first word, Chitta Jaha means Chitte abhivyaktaha chitta jaha, which are expressed in the mind. Born out, not born out of mind, but expressed through the mind. Chitta jaha means not born out of mind. They are expressed through the mind. So mind is so powerful. If you know how to master your mind, that is real mastery. Chitta Jaha. Very nice presentation, you see. Yes, Ehitu Bhutanam, a person who is um, among the human beings, when they are associated with them or attached to them, Sajjamanaha, identify with those gunas. People are so angry, shouting at others, criticizing others, blaming others. What is that? Sajjamanaha. Attached to that guna. I am very calm and quiet. So much. He doesn't like anybody talking, anybody shouting. And he is uh, identifying with the sattva guna. The person is uh, so tamasic, lazy, asking others to do everything or harming others. Tamoguna, attached to that Tamoguna, very powerful, very powerful and uh, they never listen to parents or teachers or elders. Why? Ego, ego problem, seeing the you know, war going on between Hamas and Israel, uh, what is that ego problem? People doing harm to others and making use of the human beings as shields, uh, as their armor, and uh, fighting how many people are dying. What is that? What for they are doing, you know? In the name of God only. In the name of God. If I kill other religious people, I go to heaven. Engirka in the Dharma. If any religion teaches that way, that is not a religion at all. It is not a religious book at all. If at all it is a teaching, eh? it is not a religion at all. That God is not a God at all. 
if they don't worship me if they don't worship others other gods you go and kill him and sonna our god appa agumudiyam how can he be a god he cannot be god see how mad people are that's why gunas powerful if they cannot understand by themselves they don't understand if other says other people says also they don't understand they don't give their ear to hear uh, ears are there but they don't hear like that not one or two in the name of religion whole world is boiling what religion what for they are not able to understand that is why these prophets whatever religions comes not uh, totally reliable make use of that religion properly without harming others well and good otherwise you will be trapped and you will destroy yourself and you destroy others in the name of religion okay so dangerous what a, a religion which helps a person <coughs> to become a divine person making a demon huh? any religion can make a person demon demon like that means he has misunderstood the religion that's the reason here see sajjamanah nibadhyate they are bound they will be caught by this guna tamo guna sattva guna rajo guna any guna never get addicted to any guna especially rajo guna tamo guna most dangerous <laughs> tamo guna most dangerous rajo guna 50% dangerous sattva guna not dangerous but obstacle 90% it is good that 99% but 1% also bandhakam only pratibandhakam next shloka 13th gnani knows that is anatma ishvara knows that is anatma all three gunas mind and all therefore they never get attached but what about maximum population people get attached to their gunas what a psychology you require than this more than this in the world Uh, no psychiatrist stand in front of this uh, psychology hmm? you are the master realize yadetaro yajet satvam bhaswaram vishadam shivam tada sukhena yujjet dharma jnana devi puman haili highly worth remembering verses worth recapitulating verses worth implementing verses worth transforming my personality verses for everyone without caste creed color religion language anything for every human being every human being that's why veda vedic teaching is for universal peace i gave one of my talk yo veda vedic wisdom for universal peace why this is the teaching first we should know when we are born in vedic culture we should know this first later we can give to the world look into this here here in this shloka what krishna says when two gunas overpower the other guna third guna then how they influence the person yada sattvam itarau jayeta sattva guna when the sattva which is bhaswaram bright brightness vishadam clear shivam means auspicious tada sukhena yujjeta when a person is um, predominantly satvik satvam 
ಜಯೇತ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ತಮೋ ಗುಣ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಜೋ ಗುಣ ಸಬ್ಸರ್ವಿಯಂಟ್ ಸತ್ವ ಗುಣ ಈಸ್ ಡಾಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ದ ಬ್ರೈಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಬ್ರೈಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫೇಶಿಯಲ್ ಬ್ರೈಟ್ನೆಸ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ವೆನ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಆ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲಿ ಬ್ರೈಟ್ ಐಸ್ ಆರ್ ಬ್ರೈಟ್ ಫೇ ಹೋಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಬ್ರೈಟ್ ಬ್ರೈಟ್ನೆಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಎನಿ ಹೆನಿ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಷನ್ ಎನಿ ವರ್ಡ್ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಎನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಎನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಷಿಯಸ್ ಈ ನೆವರ್ ಡು ಎನಿ ಹಾರ್ಮ್ ಟು ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಎದರ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ಅದರ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಪಿಟಿ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಪಿಟಿ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿನ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫೀಲ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಪಿಟಿ ಸುಖೇಣ ಯುಜ್ಜೇತ ದ ವೆನ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ಟು ಓವರ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಟ್ರೆಸ್ಪಾಸ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ವನ್ ಹಿ ಓವರ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ದ ರಜೋಗುಣ ತಮೋ ಗುಣ ವೆನ್ ಹಿ ಸತ್ವ ಪ್ರಿಡಾಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬ್ರೈಟ್ ಬ್ರೈಟ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಎನಿ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಎನಿ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಪುಮಾನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪುರುಷ ಯುಜ್ಜೇತ ಧರ್ಮ ಜ್ಞಾನಾದಿ ವಿಹಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಬ್ರೈಟ್ನೆಸ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಟಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಆಸ್ಪಿಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಜ್ಞಾನಾದಿ ವಿಹಿ ಪುಮಾನ್ ಯುಜ್ಜೇತ ಹಿಯರ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಜ್ಞಾನ ದಿ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಎಥಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಮೊರಾರಿಟಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅದರ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟೀಸ್ ಅದರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆದಿ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಫೈ ಆದಿ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ಆತ್ಮಜ್ಞಾನ ಪುಮಾನ್ ಫೈನಲ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಅರ್ಥ ಕಾಮ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಫೈನಲ್ಲಿ ಆತ್ಮಜ್ಞಾನ ಹಿ ವಿಲ್ attain how sukhena yujjeta anayasen without any struggle struggled for sattva guna after that he need not struggle for anything once sattva guna you work for that to develop sattva guna then automatically dharma moksha dharma and brahma okay possible anayasen without any difficult green signal given 14th verse yada jayetamas satvam rajasangam vidachalam tada dukhena yujjeta karmana esha sastriya in um, bhagavad gita gunatraya vibhaga yoga three gunas presentation is one type of presentation here also three gunas only but you see entirely differently bhagwan presenting beautifully so it is an advantage for bhagavad gita students and uddhava gita students both you study their 20, 14th chapter here 20th chapter both you can always recapitulate again and again remember see your life Uh, it's like a mirror these two chapters are like a mirror in front of you to check your personality to improve your personality for what purpose to attain the highest knowledge if you attain the highest knowledge you will be more useful to the society to the people that is the benefit atmano mokshartham jagat hitaya cha for my moksha why i am working for moksha atmanah mokshartham means uh, reflexive pronoun my moksha is not for my sake alone jagat hitaya cha for the sake of the world that is why our prime minister can talk vasudhaiva kutumbakam not israel president or uh, russia president or china president they cannot understand what is vasudhaiva kutumbakam only bharatiyas can understand why it is in our blood we can understand because of this culture finally whole world is one family we are telling 
but whole world is fighting for each other killing each other what a bomb 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 <laughs> rackets all things uh, they are doing in uh, we are not able to understand what type of thinking they are having see how great to bha- we are fortunate to born in this culture remember so that you will be useful for the whole world but namma ve bharatiya as ourselves not knowing the value and not getting gnana means who will guide the world bhagwan has given you birth in this country in this culture what purpose for what purpose to lead the world to lead the other countries when we can lead when we know our greatness our greatness means not individual greatness our vedic teaching greatness how it can cultivate the person and make the whole universe peaceful enjoy but this person rajaha sattvam tamaha jayet that means rajoguna overcomes rajoguna is predominant keeping sattva guna and tamo guna subservient here tamaha and sattvam both are in dvitiya vibhakti rajaha is in pradhama vibhakti rajoguna overcomes the um, tamo guna and sattva guna when they are subservient what are all the characteristics uh, effects comes uh, sangam bhida chalam sangam means attachment bhida selfishness chalam chalam means uh, restlessness sanga hetu hu rajaha bhida hetu hu rajaha chala hetu hu rajaha because of that what tada dukhena yujjeta karmana dukhena karmana yujjeta whatever activities he takes undertakes raj rajasik person dukhena karmana he is that karma gives dukham only a person working 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 workaholic person gets what na restlessness anxiety and job insecurity earning lot of money but there is no shanti sukham at all artham anartham bhavaya nityam nasti tat sukha lesha satyam what the countries are thinking that we are so advanced 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 what advanced that means they are all rajasik <laughs> rajasik people with dukha lot of dukha for them hmm? tension always anxiety all will continue in their life karmana yashasa shriya by name fame my country is so superior i have so many uh, jet planes i have so many war ammunitions i am so great powerful most powerful country great powerful country they are telling na bomba or bomb potta avlada one two bombs are sufficient to destroy the whole thing correct so your richness money etc never have place in this world then he says bhida chalam dukhena karmana yujjeta yashasa shriya for name fame that status and status quo struggling first to get status later struggling to maintain the co status quo this is another problem whatever name fame i get i want to maintain that reputation it should not go i should not get bad name later so the struggling for yashasa shriya by for working uh, he gets uh, law, do work lot of work for name and fame everything and uh, he is uh, what pain is there dukham is there you go and interview a richest person in the world huh? second richest person third richest person you go and ask 
they need bodyguards they cannot sleep peacefully they cannot walk freely they cannot go anywhere like us we can go anywhere i can eat we can buy we can do anything but they cannot go anywhere because of insecurity there is lot of insecurity so dharmic activities uh, uh, are there he can be happy but if there are not uh, having dharmic activities uh, earning money by hook and crook and what happiness will be there no happiness next verse 15 so this is rajoguna so dukham will be there how much distress will be there but uh, gnani our satvik person is free from distress they de-stress <laughs> the stress won't be there in a satvik person i am tensed now the tension word you no know, very new casually people use it hmm? don't have tension don't have don't use for others say also the tension word don't use for your say also tension word and remove the word from your dictionary tensed tension hmm? is a, a type of sickness tension is a type of sickness drop it how to drop become a satvik person then uh, automatically it will go in the green signal they write relax relax so people are so tensed and standing near the traffic signal buzzing the horn continuously uh, not able to stay for few seconds no patience no they do not know how to relax people manage to be tensed people manage to be anxious but they never Uh, relax themselves rishis are those people uh, they represent uh, relaxation so that type of relaxed mind when it will come when you have clarity when you have contentment when you have noble thoughts when your mind is so peaceful disciplined and subha chintaka and good thinking good for all people sarve सुखि सर्वे सन्त निराम आल पीपल इफ यू आर दिल मिशन आफ आल पीपल यू आर रिलेक्स्ड ओके नरिय ओके यशसाश्रिया दुखीन कर्मण युजेत नेक्स्ट वन वाट अबउट तमोगुण फिफ्टीन वेर्स यदाजेद्रज सो मूढ़ लय जड़ युज्जेतोकमोहाभ्याद्रया हिंसयाशया तमोगुण पर्सन वेन सत्व एंड रज जेत न वेन सी इज ओवर kam that tama rajoguna and satvaguna means tamo guna is predominant tamo guna overcomes in front overcomes the satvaguna and rajoguna that means uh, a t r s s r t r s t r t s t r s so they can see my varnashrama dharma book in website it is available you can see this srt rts what is that rajoguna tamoguna satvaguna rts and srt in satva rajas tamas okay that overcoming tamoguna is predominant what is his nature what are the effects moodham moha karanam delusion confusion layam sleepy sleeping jadam jinar means inert inert like inert like na inert stone table they are all inert this person is almost like that on inert 
inertia mm jadam jadamma mukkadu no thinking no thinking even thinking is there also wrong thinking lack of clarity in everything indecisiveness cannot decide anything yujjita shoka moha bhyam because of this tamoguna predominance jara and moha karanam tamaha laya karanam tamaha and jada karanam tamaha therefore shoka saro moha because of the moha delusion because of these two nidraya sripi himsaya hurting others any time if hurt others that is tamasic nature himsaya aashaya there are desires <laughs> desires are also there see all terrorists atankavada terrorists militants all of them also have desires many of them have studied stanford university harvard university not ordinary people highly intelligent people perverted perverted mind and how what behavior they are having you, know, you cannot compare even rakshasas are better huh? such a human beings we are seeing nowadays worst behavior worst mentality na no? cruel mentality not worst we cannot say worst cruel cruel nature that is uh, the here shoka moha abhyam they are always under threat they can never sleep peacefully they can never enjoy relax life they can never have any calm mind they are always uh, in a such a himsa himsaya always violent nature aashaya all wrong desires inauspicious desires harming desires all harming others and oneself human bomb is what harming oneself keeping her uh, bomb rajiv gandhi was killed by like that uh, lady one lady a uh, human man uh, there uh, human bomb how a person can uh, fit bomb and uh, try to kill others and uh, try to kill and uh, he killed already he also died there lady and uh, nikra therile so that type of uh, nature what nature is that human bombs we have never heard previously previous generations nowadays only human bombs are becoming very natural very common that is the himsaya sollanum adellame current the news current news flash news na adu madri next one 16 yada chittam prasideta ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾಂ ಚ ನಿರ್ವೃತಿ ದೇಹೆ ಭಯ ಮನೋಸಂಗಂ ತತ್ಸತ್ವಂ ವಿಧಿಮತ್ಪದ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಐ ಲವ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ನ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಪರ್ಸನಾಲಿಟಿ ಹೌ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಂಪ್ರೂವ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ by knowing these are all indications so if we know that so i should not have any tension anxiety because it is rajoguna let me uh, free from that rajoguna let me not be sleepy sleeping or let me not have inertia because it is tamoguna so like that a person can improve oneself the more he or she studies yada when now press sattva guna coming now the expect all these uh, above three gunas and their effects uh, 13 14 15 are the explanations of uh, ninth verse so you go back and ninth verse that ninth verse short he briefly gave now he explained in three verses like that yada chittam prasideta yada chittam indriyanam nirvritti hi prasideta when the mind is in satvik mind alone satvik mind alone bhagwan manifest matpadam bhagwan says 
ವಿಧಿಮತ್ಪದಂ ತತ್ ಸತ್ವ ವಿಧಿಮತ್ಪದಂ ದಟ್ ಸತ್ವಗುಣ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ನೌ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಸತ್ವಗುಣ ಪ್ರಿಡಾಮಿನೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಹೇ ಉದ್ಧವ ದೇರ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ರಿಸೈಡಿಂಗ್ ಮತ್ಪದಂ ಮುನ ಮೈ ಅಬೋಡ್ ಒಟ್ಟೆ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಯು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೋ ಕಂಪ್ಯಾಷನೇಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಯದಾ ಚಿತ್ತ ವೆನ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯಾಣ ನಿರ್ವೃತಿ ವೆನ್ ದ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಗಾನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಗಾನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ನೋ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಐಸ್ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ಲಿ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ಅದರ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ಲಿ ಇಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಗಾನ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸ್ಪೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಷರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇದರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲೆಗ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಕೀಪ್ ವೈಟ್ always uh, active 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 in which karma indriyas are also active either talking or uh, talkative people nowadays with phone also they are talking keeping some earphones inside uh, the bluetooth or uh, something they connecting and uh, while walking on the road also they are talking and going uh, they never keep quiet while you are at home you can talk why to talk on the road continuously that is the nature people indriyas are so extroverted in satvik person nirvruti hi this is called uh, in ashtanga yoga we you know that um, uh, indriya nigraha uh, what is that uh, yama niyama asana pranayama pratyahara pratyahara is called indriyanam nirvruti hi withdrawal of uh, 5 plus 5 sense organs of action sense organs of uh, knowledge so you can have knowledge but don't crave for unnecessary unwanted knowledge unhealthy knowledge don't do unhealthy actions withdraw from them prasideta when it calms down sense organs relax calms down dehe abhayam ಮನ ಅಸಂಗಂ ದೇಹಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಸತ್ವ ಥ್ರೂ ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ರಿಯಲೈಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಸತ್ವ ಸಂಜಾಯತೆ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ರಿಯಲೈಸ್ಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿಸ್ ಮನ ಅಸಂಗಂ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಸೋ ಡಿಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ಮೆಂಟ್ abhayam fearlessness dehe means dehe abhayam means um, no fear of death no fear of disease no fear of old age yadi jara marana comes to the body so out of these three people have fear and the fear or they want to drop the body when old age comes 95 700 people why bhagwan keeps me in this body let me go let me go that type of uh, uh, rejection comes towards the body that dehe abhayam free from disease old age fear and uh, death fear manah asangam mind is so detached never hooked to anything very relaxed mind tat satvam vidhi he uddhava you know that is called satvam satvik nature satva guna that is matpadam they realize me and i reside in them god is everywhere ishvara is everywhere but ishvara manifest in satvik people more expression is there even though ishvara is everyone why we worship mahatmas why we worship sadhus satvik sanyasis because they are all satvik so what in satvik people bhagwan manifestation is there 
सो यू वर्शिप गुरु गुरु इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग ईश्वरा बिकॉज ऑफ दैट ईश्वरा इज सिटिंग इन साइड आई डू नमस्कार टू दैम वी आर नॉट डूइंग टू द फिजिकल बॉडी एनी महात्मा एनी ग्रेट पर्सन हु इज हैविंग हाई थिंकिंग एंड विथ गुड नोबल क्वालिटीज वी डू नमस्कार बिकॉज भगवान रिसाइडिंग देयर इन हिज सत्वगुण भगवान अबोर्ड इट ईज दट ईज द रीजन वी डू नमस्ते मोर इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमीद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शाति 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 हरि ओं श्रीगुरभ्यो नम हरि ओम